Hey, this is Miracle Max. Welcome to Rise of Kingdoms. And guess what? I'm back home from my trip. So I have some footage sa saved up that I want to share with you. Um, I'm going to start with In Kingdom 135. This is the sanctuary, and we took this a few days ago. And, uh, you know, one of the reasons I like showing all of these different sanctuary takes or structure takes is we all approach these differently and you might learn something just like I do by seeing someone else do something you did or maybe you'll see something that uh, they could improve on or maybe something that you struggled with you'll see a solution to here so um, like I said this did take place a few days ago and I'm just gonna talk you through it um, this is the sanctuary that we all hit and we're right at rally time so the rally was just set and let me take you through the scouting report on this. Now we are are dealing with infantry. Um, and let's see, first skill, rage requirement 3000, deals massage damage 5000 to enemies in a fan-shaped area. So this means it's hitting multiple targets. So solo attacks, especially by T4, are really not advised. Second skill uh, reduces rage required to use next skill by 100. So that means going back to that first skill that this will reduce from 3000 to 2900 then 2800 and so on. So after so there it is. So it reduces by 100. All right, third skill heals 3% of units led by this commander after a skill is used. So that would be what 1% would be 30,000, so 90,000 troops every time it heals. Okay, and then the, the kicker. Here's our time limit of full heal every 300 seconds. So we have five minutes to hit this structure and take it down um, before we run out of time. All right, so the plan for this is, and I guess I'm going to show you our kingdoms first. Sorry, like I said, this is old footage. Um, so as far as our alliance mean in Kingdom 135, the bad guys, we are in first place um, right now. We have another kingdom right behind us, or alliance. As far as kingdoms, though, we have a pretty significant lead. Um, and that's partly because we're ranked 1, 4, and 5 out of the leading alliances. So let's take a look at the rally. And interesting, against this infantry, we went with cavalry, which surprises me but it's our strongest commanders and we do have almost a full um tier five cavalry rally i believe yeah we had one guy who couldn't quite fill with his uh t5 so seventy one thousand, it looked like um t4 um but but again pretty much everything is t5 in this rally uh save the big skin uh, with his 71,000 uh, tier four troops. And so we're hitting this with a rally. And then at the end of the attack, our other tier five troops are going to come in from the bottom left. And you'll see them right here. Let me show you the full troops. I'll have to turn this back off. Um, but we're having all of our tier fives stack their extra armies on the left. And they'll be responsible for adding a swarm attack at the end. And then over here, these are all tier four cavalry units waiting to reinforce the rally. So even though we're starting with all tier five, our reinforcements will be completely tier four on the rally with tier five hitting at the end. Now, one thing that's important is all those rally reinforcers have to stay far back. Um, and the reason for that is because of that uh, AOE damage, any tier four armies that get hit by this rage will be wiped off the map. And we probably will see a couple uh, tier four armies that got too close and stop being um, <laughs> stop being a part of the game. They left with a little sad face. And that's just the reality. Um, as we're facing these new structures that have different levels of AOE, let's see, we've got 37 seconds left marching in. Um, tier four are struggling to do anything beyond joining the rally. I mean, tier four cannot do solo hits. That AOE hits them and your 200,000 troop army uh, is gone. Sitting in the hospital for you at home to spend resources on. So very kind of that and here comes our rally in at the top and 
I can't remember if on this one I was able to join the rally. I try to jump in as soon as I can. Um, that way I can concentrate on filming rather than on what my troops are doing. Um, so thankfully on this, on the sanctuary, there's there's no guardians to worry about and there's no believers to worry about. Um, we just have to, like I said, worry about that AOE and um, worry about um, the healing that happens. Yep, still trying to get in. And, you know, it's it's great to see that even though I'm trying to get in, I'm not able to because that means that everybody's jumping in and keeping that rally full. Look at that heal of 90,000 troops. Um, not horrible. I mean, you know, we have seen some that heal 300,000 troops every time that they drop a heal. So, so we're able to keep up with this. And if you look at that, we're already at halfway gone. Um, our rally is down to half strength. So you're going to see some T5s jumping in here really soon. Um, our reinforcements were too far away and that wasn't helping us. Our rally was dipping down because people were saying they were reinforced, but they were back so far that the troops were taking forever to march up and the people who were closer weren't getting in the rally. All right, but we're still a pretty full rally. I mean, it's not, even though it looks so low, there are troops constantly hopping in. And as you can see, I can't get in as much as I try. Here come the T5. See the sign above it just changed. So now we're going to have Tier 5 reinforcements piling in um, from the bottom side. And, uh, you know, this structure went very quickly. Here come our Tier tier 5s in. And they're going to get a few hits on it, but really not even much because... Uh, there we go. Did I make it that time? Still didn't make it in. <laughs> Pretty funny. Um, but Tier 5s will get off a few shots and probably take, you know, 15% of the structure damage down for us. Um, and then probably around 85% for the rally. Um, but it does help to have these t Tier 5s come in at the end um, when your rally is depleted of all its Tier 5s and all that's left joining it, you know, is Tier 4s. Um, it does help to have these these extra T5 armies. So uh, probably out there a lot of archer armies, um, tier 5 archer armies and tier 5 infantry armies um, to go ahead and, and battle these uh, infantry. And there goes the victory. So <clears throat> again, not very difficult for us on this one. Um, when you can start with 2 million, almost 2 million, um, tier 5 troops within a rally, the 3 million tier 5 that they have isn't isn't that uh, that bad. And we'll take a look at the the battle report here and and show you how many troops we lost. Crunky's our leader. Good job, Crunky. Nice rally lead. So um, there we go. So we're looking at two and a half minutes. Um, two minutes and 31 seconds to take down this. And again, we had a maxed out Minamoto and Sao Tao uh, to take this down. So the rally did, uh, wow, 90% of the damage. That's really good. Um, slightly wounded, 3 million. Severely wounded, very, very low. So, um, you know, looks like we went through about 4.8 million troops in our 2 million rally. So that's quite a bit of reinforcements. And if we look here, um, again, interesting that we went with cavalry as our bonuses against infantry are not good, as you can see. But that was, uh, that's okay. Um, obviously, it worked. Um, here's a quick look at the battle log. Let you see what we saw. And it's interesting in these kingdoms, in Kingdom 135 and 157 that I'm in, doing the things that we did in Kingdom 2, you know, several weeks ago. Um, just watching how much easier it is after you've seen someone else do it. And everybody's watched the videos of what happened the first time around and are learning from those. And then even the second go around, the second group, I believe, uh, Chiskel is in and he's put out some videos on so everybody's gotten to see just a few times how these work and it really makes it easier um, things that seemed almost impossible the first time through just are are falling rapidly um, on these 
<clears throat> excuse me, on these repeats now. Um, so great job, Kingdom 135. I'm proud of you. I'm going to send my troops home and go ahead and uh, pause this video and end it for you. Um, but thanks for watching. Again, this is, we've all seen it. We'll give you another quick look. Looks like I got a crusader, occupy a sanctuary. We'll take a couple more gold keys and some more tomes and speed ups. I do love all the rewards that pop off in this game. Um, so thanks for watching. Um, I've got some more videos that I'm working on and I'll be piling them out now that I am back in my house and I appreciate you watching. So, um, hey, if you like these videos, please throw a like on them. If you have any questions, anything about the Lost Kingdom or the game in general that you'd like me to answer, um, please let me know. I'd be glad to, to answer that for you. Um, also, I did a video and I will put a card for it at the end of this video, but I did a video with Echo Gaming um, on Legendary Commanders and just kind of walked through and gave them a grade and it is an opinion piece. It is what I think of the Commanders and I'd love to see your feedback on that too. So I'll put a link in this video for it. All right, thanks for watching. Um, if you're watching these videos and liking them, go ahead and subscribe um, and I will keep bringing content for you. All right, everyone have a great day, thanks.